Horse Girl is a film on Netflix starring Alison Brie about a young lady who it would seem has mental problems. Uh, you can read this film in two ways. One is that she has got schizophrenia or some other similar condition or the other is that she has been getting abducted by aliens and being moved through time. The reason I say this is she has nosebleeds, losses of time, wakes up in strange places, can't explain her whereabouts or how she got there, how she's dressed and has recollections of different times. She thinks she's in the future or from the past and she also says that her grandmother had similar delusions. Um, she also knows and meets people that she saw in her dreams but she otherwise wouldn't have encountered. It doesn't really matter when you watch this film if it's one or the other. You, the way this film is structured is that you can watch it and believe whichever one, whichever narrative you want. Personally I think it was a bit of both. I think she was being driven to have these psychological issues as a result of being abducted by aliens. Um, there's plenty of evidence in it if you go through it to see that not only does she have these psychological problems but she's also been abducted, she's got marks on her body, there are claw marks on the wall which is likely from her being dragged out, albeit it could be sleepwalking and just clawing the walls. Um, but she also has this knowledge of other people and if you look at the end of the film she's dressed in the same manner as her grandmother who you see in a picture who looks identical to her um, and she also walks a horse past the front of her building which again if you go back to the start of the film you see that shot you see the back end of the horse walk by in the same shot with her colleague at what the hell implying that she has been moved back in time and she's continuing to be moved back in time until she goes back to uh, be her own grandmother basically um, it's very well acted, it's very well put together. Some people who see online have complained about the lack of clarity in the end, but I think that's the whole point of it, it's meant to make you think. Um, it's not something that is a slog to get through, because when you get about halfway through it starts ramping up and you're rewarded for having watched it. Um, personally I think it's worth watching at least once, it's not long, it's about an hour and a half. Um, I don't think you could watch it over and over again to try and pull, pull it apart. The only reason I knew to go back to the start was because on Netflix you can just do that <laughs> very quickly and very easily. Um, you don't even have to try and fight, you know, jog through it as if you were watching a DVD. Um, so let me know what you think. Am I totally wrong? Is it about just psychological illnesses and that's it? Or is it just about um, an alien abduction story? Um, Please feel free to like and subscribe and thanks for watching.